your name is called Emmanuel. Hallelujah. The Spirit of God is ministering restoration to people here. Please, I want you to pay attention. There are people who have labored, you have tried, you have done all you know to do. And the Lord is saying, I should speak to you that the season for restoration. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen it's a prophecy for you that everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen prophesy to yourself now everything that was lost shall be returned unto me and everything that was shall be restored shall be restored unto me we prophesy everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be one more time everything that was lost shall be everything that was stolen shall be returned unto you is a prophetic word for you you may not see the wind you may not see the rain yet in this season the lord is filling your valley in a way listen carefully we're going to sit down but the lord is filling your valley in a way that even you will know this one is the finger of god you may not see the wind i'm speaking to someone by the spirit you may not see the wind you wouldn't know how it will happen that overnight they will say is Saul also one of the prophets how did it happen you may not see the wind you may not see the rain but brothers and sisters in this season God is lifting men you may not see the wind I repeat you may not see the rain you may not see the person coming yet the finger of God in a way that not even you can understand will lift you in a way that will surprise everyone around you hallelujah please be seated god bless you i decided to take out this time to worship because it was such an awesome time when the gentleman i don't know him but great man let's honor him okay. hallelujah and i just sensed in my spirit that through that worship I will I will be very brief tonight but through that worship you see worship is a ladder in the spirit we can use it as a tool to accent dimensions in the spirit are we together and when the spirit of worship begins to come it invokes the spirit of prophecy too and God must be given an opportunity to respond to his people hallelujah good evening everybody it's my pleasure to be here. We had a great time in Abel Kota with your pastor. Amazing man. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. And again, I'm delighted to see his lovely wife. She truly is an amazing woman of God. Let's honor her. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Just a few minutes and then we will pray. It's, it's a worship meeting. And I, I, when I returned, I was just thinking through what the Lord would have me um tell us one of the one of the side effects of truly loving god is that you are not given an opportunity to pretend hallelujah i like to be myself as much as possible and um, if the lord is not telling me anything 
I, I don't get into the pressure of trying to say God is saying this because if God does not direct it, he will not confirm it. And over time, when you keep saying things that God did not say, those who are listening to you will mark your word not coming to pass and they will lose, your words will lose value before people. Hallelujah. But then the Lord put something in my heart. We're still going to worship, but... Um, I still sense in my spirit the Lord is lifting burdens. 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 Well, if, if this is all he does tonight, listen, let me teach you something. And I love your pastor for this. When it, when it comes to spiritual things, you must be discerning. You don't receive from God at your terms. Are we together? When you come to him, you allow him to be the Lord of the experience. He must coordinate how you will receive from him. Are we together? So when you come before him, your heart must be open very intentionally to say, Lord, however you want, just, just flow through me and let me receive. Otherwise, it's going to be a total waste of time in this place. I still say that the Lord is restoring, 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 restoring restoring i'm seeing the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing like the vision of the axe head that fell this is what i'm seeing the axe head that fell and i'm seeing it floating back and this is a prophecy for just one person not everybody just one person the anointing of the spirit is coming on just that one person i'll now continue just that one i know it's for everybody you can receive by prophecy but this word of restoration is for one person just one person and and that anointing is coming on just that one person just where you are seated the holy spirit is, is an influence that you cannot stand the power of the holy spirit you see is powerful when it is when it is of the spirit it comes to change and to turn your life around it's not it's not something you are hoping will happen because it is by the spirit by the spirit lord we command restoration we shift things in their lives by prophecy and in the name of jesus we decree it we declare it it will be like a dream it will be like a dream that's what the lord is telling that lady it will be like a dream that i will turn your life around i will turn everything about you around mm. hallelujah blessed be the name of the lord one of the major one of the major ministries of worship one of the major ministries of worship among other reasons is is worship was designed as a system of invocation are we together worship is a spiritual tool that was designed to invoke the presence of god within a territory Please follow me carefully. Let me just give us a foundation and then we'll worship some more. That worship is a system designed not just to honor God. No, that, that's wonderful. But worship was designed not just for the benefit of God alone, but the benefits of the saints. Are we together? It's a spiritual technology that was so designed by the wisdom of God to help men capture dimensions of God and to bring those dimensions within their territory. Are we together now? And, and the system of worship is worship such is that, that because, because God reveals God himself, himself dimensionally, dimensionally, all of, all him, of cannot him cannot come. come. We, don't we don't have the capacity, capacity to host all of, all of God. Are we together? Are we together? So, so God, God by his by spirit, his spirit defines a dimension of himself that he wants to reveal to a people and begins to cause the worshipers to invoke that dimension through their songs. Are we together now? So if God wants to come as a healer, the Spirit of God who is at work in us, both to will and then to do, will begin to guide the worshippers, if they are aligned in the Spirit, to now begin to sing songs that are within that dimension. And you find out that they begin to sing songs of healing or songs of deliverance. And then the, that dimension of God 
now is invoked within the atmosphere and when he comes then he begins to validate the songs because if he does not come then it means the songs are a lie every time we worship god we put pressure on his integrity to validate what we are saying we call him lord we call him healer we say we believe in you it's up to him his reputation is at stake when we worship are we together now and so there's pressure on his integrity while we worship and he's compelled to arise and to reveal that dimension to validate that he's lord because he understands that it is not given to the natural man to worship that far is a sacrifice are we together now and so he and must so he come must within, come within that, territory that territory to validate to everything that is said worship is a system of invocation but i want to guide us to understand how to use worship as a tool for victory you see most of us know how to worship god just as a way of saying thank you i love you wonderful but there is a warfare dimension of worship that's what i want to teach you tonight that worship can be used as an instrument as a tool that commands victory for the saints the Bible says, let the high praises of God be in their lips and a double-edged sword in their hands. There is a dimension of praise and worship that can be used to capture realities, to stay the hand of evil. And if that is the dimension we can trust God to reveal to us tonight, then this was a profitable meeting. Are we together? Praise the Lord. The Bible records in 2 Chronicles. Let's, let's go to 2 Chronicles. Solomon was about to dedicate the temple, 2 Chronicles chapter 6. 2 Chronicles chapter 6. Is God helping someone tonight? 2 Chronicles chapter 6. Verse 40. Now, this is Solomon. Okay, it's projected. We're reading right to chapter 7 and verse 3. Solomon is dedicating the temple now. Are we together now? He's built the temple and he's about to dedicate the temple. And the Bible says that before this would happen, when you read the previous verses, the altar already had a sacrifice upon it. This is the protocol. This is the system. Are we together? You never will invoke his presence to come within a territory where there is no sacrifice. So there was first a sacrifice. And then Solomon said, Now my God, let I beseech thee, let thy eyes be open and thy ears attend unto the prayer that is made in this place. Now therefore arise, O God. Listen carefully. Are you seeing how a man is invoking the presence of God? arise from where you are and come to your resting place i have mimicked the throne room within this environment so you can feel free to leave where you are and come and feel like you are still in the throne room because i have been able to create a similitude of the throne room through my sacrifice now oh god feel comfortable to arise and still come to the meeting and you will not feel strange the same kind of worship that is being instituted in the throne room i have by sacrifice been able to reproduce it within my sphere now arise O lord come into your not our church your resting place thou and the ark of thy strength let thy priest O lord be clothed with salvation and thy saints rejoice in your goodness it says, O oh Lord, turn not away from the face of thine anointed. Remember the mercies of David, your servant. 7 verse 1. The Bible says, Now, when Solomon had met the end of praying, what happened? The fire came down from heaven and consumed. The glory had not come. The fire came first. The fire came down and consumed the burnt offering and the sacrifices and then the glory the shekinah the very glory of the lord filled the house verse 2 and the priests could not enter into the house of the lord because the glory filled the house 
the glory fills a room that physically it can block a human being from entering are we together now verse 3 it says when the children of israel saw how the fire came down and the glory of the lord upon the house they bowed themselves with their faces to the ground upon the pavement and worship and praise the lord for he is good and his mercy endures forever there is a spiritual system that makes our worship both acceptable and profitable are we together that singing is only a very minute part of what we call worship and if we do not understand that system we will spend time calling upon the lord being tired fagged out and never have a testimony of his presence the bible lets us know that every time notice the progression whenever the glory of the lord is about to be revealed in a place the fire of his presence precedes the glory it comes searching is there a sacrifice in that place and here's what the bible says in romans chapter 12 and verse 1 the bible says i beseech thee brethren listen careful it says i beseech thee brethren by the mercies of god that ye offer what so that sacrifice that the fire falls upon paul says is now you not something you prepare not something you bring out of your offering your pocket to put in a basket that that sacrifice when the fire comes is not seeking for money is seeking for men i beseech you brethren by the mercies of god that ye offer your not just your spirit your bodies a living sacrifice he calls it holy and acceptable and he calls that act of offering your body an acceptable service some versions say your reasonable worship so the first dimension of worship is not singing it's not coming to church it's not playing instruments it's a determination within your spirit that my life must be on that altar first your songs are useless when your life is not on the altar are we together now there are many people who sing and the fire comes keeps moving round and there is no sacrifice upon the altar but there are songs there's keyboard playing there's drums playing people are kneeling and shouting and the fire is saying where is the sacrifice where is the sacrifice because when there is a sacrifice then the glory follows the protocol is the 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 sacrifice then the fire then the glory then from that glory all kinds of things begin to happen are we together it is not the song then the keyboard then the instrumentation then the tears then the hope then the disappointment and nothing happens sacrifice sacrifice that you come to a point where you say lord much more than my singing i have come to a point where my life must become a living sacrifice a living sacrifice a living sacrifice then the bible says when your life is a living sacrifice then your words your songs will now become like a calf too it no longer will become music the bible says to offer unto god the calves of our lips not the songs of our lips the calves like the the high priest who have a calf he said when you are singing is the same thing as cutting the animal in the old testament but only when you are a living sacrifice are we together now let me tell you this brothers and sisters if worship does not change you then you did not worship are we together now something about worship must kill something within you and resurrect another dimension within you that is proof that he came something about you must die in worship and another dimension of resurrection must start in worship for it to truly be worship 
you cannot claim his glory showed up and then you were there singing and crying and you get up and nothing is left behind it's impossible when you burn something no matter what it is there must be ashes as a testament that something was once there you can't get up and no 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 when you are in that presence many things are happening through the songs the spirit of god is creating new resolutions within you you are sitting down and your life is being redefined no one is preaching but the spirit of god is ministering to you no there are some relationships i must cut off there are some things that just one song one line of a song is ministering to you much more than a sermon that's worship something is happening between you and god i beseech thee brethren that if you want to do business with god and host his glory the first assignment is to offer your bodies your bodies you know most times when we worship god we want to see his power we want to see his glory we want to see all kinds of miracles god is not a herbalist there is a system only dead men can carry him you see if you are alive in yourself you do not sustain the power to host his glory the sacrifice that sacrifice that sacrifice the bible tells us let's look at one scripture we're going to pray shortly the bible tells us um in the book of matthew let's look at matthews there, there, there are many synoptics variations but let's look at matthew matthew 26 and verse 7 uh, i believe i'm right yes the bible says that a woman a very strange woman in fact i think is the account of of luke or mark that says that woman was a sinner are we together now the bible says that whilst jesus was having dinner there came unto him a woman having a an alabaster box listen carefully the bible tells us that that box was of very precious ointment in fact one of the versions say it was made of pure nerd it was worth a year's wages now that's a lot of money, of money. talk to me nigerian one, one year salary that's a lot that's of a money lot no of matter money. what it is are we together and the bible says that the woman came in fact um this version does not give me what i'm looking for the bible says she broke it broke it not poured small poured small is a scam you plan to hide some the bible says she broke it at his feet and then used her hair which is the glory of a woman to now begin there was a relationship between the sacrifice the hair her tears and the bible says while she cleaned his feet the ignorant scribes and the disciples said ah this is wastage i say you would have given to the poor sold that thing and given to the poor and jesus rebuked them he said don't don't do that this woman is teaching you people a principle she's showing you a way to access my glory that she came with all that she had a representation of her sweat her value her life and say lord you are not just worth my songs you are worth my life the jealousy of god will not accept anything that is not total you see the jealousy of god is an important part of him we must understand fight any reservation you keep who then is worthy of the rest that you're hiding so when God comes and you take part and say, Lord, let me give you this. He says, okay, I see you giving me your finances. I see you giving me this, but I don't see this. So who then is worthy? It's not pride. He searched the earth and found out there was none greater than him. And so when you break your alabaster box, you come before him just as you are and say, Lord, I don't just want to sing. I am offering my life lord take this filth lord take this i am someone who loves you but i have struggles that are even embarrassing me it's a corruption to my christian testimony but you see there is a difference between a sinner and a rebel the difference is that one runs away from god while another comes to god god never drove sinners 
are we together that you come to him and say lord there is something in me there is there is a weight there is there is something that corrupts my christian testimony lord i love you with all my heart but this issue of women is is embarrassing me and i'm not ashamed i come before you with everything you are the only one who can help me he sang a beautiful song i can't remember the song but what a powerful song it was that song shifted something in my spirit lord i love you but this issue of joblessness i've done the best i know to do you are i bring before you everything and you bring your life with it and present it and the fire falls when the fire falls you lose trust in those things and say lord i lift up my eyes to the hills i've been disappointed at my intellect and everything but i come to you in reality now you make room for the glory here he comes through your worship your songs now become genuine because they are a derivative of death they are not you are not just singing because you are helping to recite something that uh, you are being called for worship no And do you know, under that atmosphere, you don't sing what you want. He now begins to give you the songs to sing. And sometimes, even the songs you wrote will not bless you. It may be one line of an old song somewhere. That's the only song that can capture what the Spirit is speaking at that point. You can sing. You may not remember all the song, but just one line. And you keep singing it like a fool. And people are saying, oh God, change song now. I'm not participating in your worship, but change song and you are not you are not trying to be nice yes you yes, wore a nice wore shoe a and a nice, nice this and you don't even know when you turned in a position that ordinarily you would not have turned your leg is up your head is down you are crying you have become a sacrifice in this because your reputation died in that worship is god speaking to us then and only then will he come god doesn't just come just because you are born again he comes in his majesty and when he comes it's like an intercourse between a man and his wife when a man comes to meet his wife he leaves her with something there is a deposit are we together now from that intercourse listen carefully every other thing becomes automatic she is shocked that all of a sudden her appetite started changing the things she would want to eat now is changing <laughs> what is wrong with me all of a sudden she would want to move with people but now she wants to walk alone she has been implicated by an intercourse this is what worship is so when you come before his presence you should leave pregnant with something in two weeks in one month we should start seeing an evidence all of a sudden the friends call you and you say it's one month i came to house of david something shifted ordinarily i would not get up in the night but because of something that entered me now i can wake up 1 a.m on the dot without alarm something wakes you what is that something you see that and he begins to move you and speak to you and does something to your ears washes your eyes with eye salve and you begin to understand the things of the spirit listen brothers and sisters if this is not captured in your experience no matter what song you sing you are not worshiping a worshiper is not a musician a worshiper is not a singer a worshiper is one who understands the dynamics of hosting god if you cannot do that you are not a worshiper singing is only a spiritual instrument to us to help you ascend that ladder but much more than that the foundation of true worship is a the willingness to die to get to that realm called galatians 2 20 that have been crucified with christ in experience a lot of people come before god they worship for hours and go back and after service they just say ah how was the service ah powerful that guy can sing oh. and you watch the person no pregnancy you were not a bride you certainly it wasn't god that came there because if god comes something must shift in your life look at what the bible did with worship that people can be worshiping and god is somewhere winning battles the warfare dimension that when when the nation the nation of israel were surrounded by all kinds of enemies three kings arose the people began to sing and notice they didn't sing what they wanted the formula was given to them you are good and your mercy endures forever and all of a sudden the other side of worship is victory 
they were not seeing it but they knew something was happening and two enemies which foolish man goes for war with gold in his pocket are we together now and they began to kill themselves and the bible records that the last few helped to kill one another the last person killed himself and left the gold there and when they got there god said no 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 you can't walk twice if you've done one in my presence then the other one is done hmm. listen brothers and sisters i show you a route to hosting the glory of god and the power of god you can find out that when you worship truly at the end of it you will check the fibroid is gone nobody prayed something happened you see that when the fire comes the fire doesn't just burn you the fire burns everything that is not god whatever remains is the part of god in you hmm. when that fire comes it burns every pride it burns every dross that's why sometimes a song can be raised and you want to sing and the spirit says keep quiet that's your own worship you don't sing you just let your ears do the worship while you hear the words the spirit of god is ministering you want to join but there is a restraint and then you can keep quiet for 30 minutes afterwards the holy spirit will just lead you to take one song on your knees and that's where the miracle comes a living sacrifice I'm giving you a piece of my secret place this is what i do i don't just play songs and go before god and dance foolishly and off it and go out and no no i go with an intention to be changed with an intention lord i have come before you they call me apostle joshua selman but this is a worshiper coming before you and you stay until something begins to happen to you and then you see when you come out of that worship when people have exhausted a dimension in you you come out with a level of freshness another dimension you met him the pregnancy within you shows it's an evidence and pe before people exhaust one dimension they lift up their heads and see another dimension ever fresh the secret is that secret place of the most high worship pastor our generation can pray but we don't understand worship are we together there is a dimension remember when you got into the second phase of the tabernacle you would meet the seven candlesticks the incense of prayer but much more than that there was a deeper realm so if all you do is just pray in tongues pray and ask oh god i've been warning you change my story i've i've told you this thing um, you know I'm, what kind of thing is this i'm i'm is it that i'm not your son and and we, we quarrel god we, we we make a mess of ourselves and when we finish we just come out and say amen and you you convince yourself that you touch heaven no most of most answered prayers is just the mercy of god because we are doing many wrong things If you learn to stay the staying power of worship you stay till he comes not till you are tired you see let me tell you the hardest thing for the flesh to do is to stay quiet in God's presence you try it you can stand before a shop that sells minerals for one hour and not be tired you are looking at minerals you take one you eat bones and stay but let a song of worship rise for five minutes your flesh is fighting itching i want to go the secret is to keep it there there is something that that experience is doing you see that that's why many of us don't hear god the flesh is busy there are so many things you just sit down there and one song and you are thinking ah, ah, i didn't send the sms will he send me that money at all you see that's the devil that's the devil is the devil he's trying to distract you for your name is holy and all of a sudden ah my wife what are we going to eat today can you really help from that position where you are it's just the flesh the flesh fights the presence of god let me tell you this satan you've heard me say it in my teachings many people say satan is afraid of the presence of god it's not true go and read your bible there's nothing like that satan has never been afraid of the presence of god jesus is fasting for 40 days and his fasting invites satan 
satan comes after 40 days he's standing before him you thought he would shake satan said ah jesus you mean you finished why don't you turn this this is he's talking the word is talking back satan is replying the word in the book of job the sons of god were together satan in that falling state still came have you considered my servant job you thought you would shake because of the glory no the presence of god doesn't scare satan it is the man that comes from the presence that scares satan it is not the presence of god it is the man that stays in that presence when you stay in that presence and come out there is something about that presence you carry there's something that it does to satan so the devil knows that if you stay in this worship it has a relationship with the job you are looking for so he said kai let me just go i'll come for tomorrow's service and you prolong something that should happen next week you make it december 2021 whereas worship one when you stay in the presence let me tell you when satan starts making you uncomfortable it's a sign that something is moving in the spirit he doesn't have that kind of time to waste worship has monetary value worship has destiny value when you know it you will never call it a waste they call her act of worship a waste of money it can be a waste of anything there are people who may think it's a waste of time you mean you just come to church to sing are we together worship is powerful let me tell you brothers and sisters and i admit to you there are many battles in my life that I did not even know they were battles. Because whilst worship was going on, the fire of God was settling things up and down. You need it for your business. Carry your business and enter the ark of worship with it. Don't leave it outside. That's where your headache is coming from. Carry that business in your mind and say, Lord, I can't worship you and my business is outside. I bring it to. Lord, we carry every challenge and everything and we bring before you. And whilst you worship, when the fire comes, it comes on everything. By Monday, someone calls you and says, I've been looking for you. And you know you didn't pray about that issue. Something happened in worship. You believe what i'm telling you brothers and sisters if you believe this your life will surprise you you will live as if satan does not exist cheap victories this worry is why we don't worship some of you as you're standing here now you are saying oh lord let somebody let talk about my rent but let's be honest do you believe that by worrying rent will be paid the landlord is coming in any way in, in any case so it's better to stay in the presence of god and then you watch God arise now you don't need to know how it will happen this is God we are talking about when you bring God into any equation the calculation changes one anything plus God is equal to the answer he wants anything zero plus God can be equal to one million depending on what he desires when you bring God into the equation he changes everything is God speaking to us tonight because I want to take a few minutes and then we will worship God but I want us to worship intentionally so that while Satan is telling you ah you know that this this you need to raise money where will you buy the new car now are you not tired of that sound instead of hearing the Holy Ghost you are hearing the, the sound of your car and you leave it there carry the car with you to the presence Lord I'm worshiping you I bring all my pain and you roll that pain away brothers and sisters when the fire comes and the glory comes upon it you will rise up with a strategy call a B C and you can call ah, uncle God bless you say do you know I just had a dream about you yesterday um come and meet me in my office they know not neither will they understand the Bible says they walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course. We reign in the kingdom, this kingdom, not just based on what we want, based on the truths that we are aware of. Are we together now? Worship. Worship. Not just singing, but an instrument of invoking God's presence.
if you can get god to show up where you are then you are safe if he can't show up you are in trouble no matter how you convince yourself that you are all right you are still in trouble my assignment as a person is to leave god face to face with my challenges and i know that i've entered rest because when god comes everything that does not look like him must give way he's an expert in that by my strength i do not have the power to win those battles but i know how to bring those battles to him i invoke his presence i call him and i love the yoruba people because you see down north we don't have too much um we our, our, our language cannot give us the kind of articulateness that we need but in the yoruba language it's amazing you can call god one word can mean many things you're going to use that advantage tonight some of you have to call him a name you called the last time you called that name was when you were seven years remember it again it's the name you call to get admission <laughs> when you graduated you left the name because you are looking for job tonight you have to call that name again and say lord i remembered when i called that name you came and you showed up is god speaking to us tonight house of david hear me i can tell you this you know those of you who follow our ministry i had an encounter about a month or three weeks ago a month and i was just lying down pastor on my bed and my pillow i just saw written on it the lifter of men that's what i saw there usually god gives me messages by just writing it somewhere sometimes it just comes to my spirit but when god has to write it out then i take it serious the lifter of men and the anointing of the spirit is wherever his word is not the word written in scripture his speakings the present truth now so god begins to tell you look i am lifting men and my goodness the testimonies that have come of the sudden liftings it's okay if you already have an uncle it's just that god has not spoken to him you are closer to the miracle but the one that doesn't have any uncle anybody anywhere all of a sudden you hear that he got up with two three jobs where did it come from tonight i'm giving us a theme for worship the lifter of men we are worshiping tonight unto that end that lord you can change my story is it not the bible say withhold not good to him that it is due when it is within your power do not say to him go today and come tomorrow many of you are in lagos here but you have not eaten the riches of this land someone will come with the mystery from somewhere and walk in the abundance of it i want you to be angry tonight as we worship there is something from god that you need that grace for lifting if that can land tonight in this place then it was profitable for you one victory after another pastor in my little life i've seen what god can do when when god gets up from his throne to bless you he zooms his attention on you you will fear god you won't just praise him you will fear him he will do it in a way that you say god what is this i am lifting you not even you will stop me I have chosen jacob have i loved you have done something to me doesn't take so long for god to lift your business listen most people think men of god don't know anything about business you know when we talk like this uh, just keep your preaching there and let me what, what do you think ministry is what is a customer that god cannot bring are we together when you try it in the flesh and it does not work leave the flesh come to the altar of worship and say lord there's got to be a way i came tonight to provoke that spirit of lifting anything that is alive grows my god is the lifter of men i don't know about your god but my god many of you have come past this mountain long enough the truth is it's not like you are failing but you know honestly you have been at the same level for a long time you can't give you can't sow because all you have is is all happen. there's got to be something in your life and my life if i look at my life in two weeks one month there is no change i will go for a retreat something is wrong 
some of us no favor nobody has thought about you this year it's a it's a cause for concern don't say i'm doing well let me tell you this favor is not money you can have money and not have men favor is when god provokes men to arise for you david was in a cave called adulam david was a worshiper men arose and came to that cave there's no need for packaging they came as dirty as he was say we have come to make you king who is showing up in your life to say i must stand by you till you succeed nobody we have tried human connections we have tried everything but tonight i'm calling us to a realm where we can access sheep victory that as you are rolling on the floor you are not just rolling foolishly you are saying lord i'm rolling away my pain i'm tired of this i graduated 12 years no job am i cost what is this and all of a sudden god says this is for me let the fire come i would have given you a job but i see pride let the fire edit that pride now my glory comes and and then let's see who will not give you that job we work so hard that's why we don't give god the glory the way we walk we just say lord i praise you but the truth is we are not praising him we suffered so much for that breakthrough we just say i praise you just so that we don't feel guilty i'm sorry if i'm a bit harsh tonight but i just want to push you it's because i love you i want us to receive something pastor you will see the kinds of testimonies that will come out of house of david not not i was promoted that well it's a testimony but i'm talking of someone who says i was sitting down and someone was going abroad and said can you manage my company and you sit down and say no I, I i didn't go to school he said that's not the issue can you answer a and b i saw you in a dream and the lord said you are the person there are testimonies that should be so strange that even a non-believer will say i'm going to your church i must go to your church whatever they are giving you in that church i want it to when your testimonies are not notable they open up for for unbelief persecution and all of that God in this season is lifting men house of David yes I have prayed this in my life I know this is where the anointing of the spirit is the Bible says the sons of Issachar they had an understanding of the time why is God lifting men of course we know this because the body of Christ needs the requisite influence there are two ways to advance the kingdom one is evangelism the second is influence evangelism without influence will still keep the church victimized so God is accelerating this lifting there are there are systems where the church must stay and if you are to be promoted three years per lifting your life is too you will retire and never rise anywhere and god is saying i want to give you speed like i did to elijah the bible says elijah began to run and overtook the chariots of ahab lifting i believe this i'm, I'm preaching to myself as i'm talking to you i know god is the lifter of men as you worship him tonight don't let the devil intimidate you keep all your business papers one side and say lord if if it is true that you are the lifter of men show up for me show up but listen the fire must come and prune a lot of things because there are many of us we cannot rise the way we are now there is pride there is flesh there are all kinds of things that's why the fire precedes the glory so whilst you worship the fire of god will come for some of us god is going to be talking to you work on your character your prayer life god cannot lift you because your prayer life cannot accommodate the kind of persecution that will come at that lifting so his mercy will make him leave you at that level because if you are lifted you do not have the spiritual fortification to stand the attacks that come at that level so he will keep you down but then you receive of him tonight the spirit of prayer and supplication and he says now you can rise ah i like to hear testimonies of people that god changed their lives not be i don't care what the detail is but the fact that my god can pick people my god can pick people look at my life let me tell you if you don't believe god lifts people you will suffer in this life you will never give the glory to god 
take your eyes away from some of these vain human connections i've been calling my uncle he's not listening it is your uncle your savior the bible says vain is the help of man all blessings come from god it just passes through men when you want to make it from men you are in trouble already it's god himself that will fight you for giving his position to someone else please let me speak to us business people and those who want to rise in the position of influence finance and all of that tonight i want to call you to that realm are we together of worship where you can arise some of you here just like our brother here are worship ministers you see let me tell you the race is not to the swift the battle is not to the strong i have seen people who are not the best but they tapped into this mystery and even them they are wondering what am i doing here because everybody who is in this realm has a legitimate reason some of them is age some of them is academic qualification what am i doing in their midst and god said my grace since you knew that i can pick people i picked you and i brought you there enough of this this analog system of rising you will never give god glory that way no sir who has ever had this pastor that in one day a woman can give birth he said but as soon as zion travails they've never been to, no one has said in your family at 27 a car a house who dash monkey banana you say hold on god says let me use you to prove a point that i am alpha i am omega i can do as i please because you see let me tell you something we're going to pray there are people who have pegged god at a dimension and created a theology of limitation that god can only bless someone after five years and so sometimes your spirit is telling you but god can accelerate my life but you you are you are you are being careful like elihu so you don't look like you are a small child you don't know anything god you can be sitting here today and by next week sunday not friday you will enter this church with tears and say pastor look at my life what happened if you don't believe this you will never see it never see it but if you believe it with me then i let's let's trust god tonight and say father it is true that you are lifting men in worship change my life hallelujah is god speaking to us lagos is a place of abundance lagos is a place of plenty lagos is a place of lifting many of you have tried ev even what was supposed to work well when it gets to you it scatters go to the place of worship that frustration will kill you is why many people don't come to church again pastor because they think at this church thing i'm tired i hope is yahweh Yahweh, we look to Yahweh, Yahweh, forever Yahweh, Yahweh, we look to Yahweh, to Yahweh, Yahweh, I hope is Yahweh. Yahweh, we look to Yahweh, Yahweh, forever Yahweh, Yahweh. Let's do some little prayer. Hold hands with somebody all around you and begin to pray in the spirit. Let's challenge the spirit of unbelief. I know my God is able. I know my God is alive. I know my God is able. Come on, house of David. My God is alive. God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. My God is not a man that he should lie. He is not the son of man that he should repent. God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. Pray. 
eyes are on you the author the finisher of every ministry every business every career every family Pray. You are the lifter of men. 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 Hallelujah. Second prayer point. Hallelujah. We are praying, Father, let your fire from heaven fall and everything that does not reflect you in my life, take it away. Are you ready to pray that prayer? Lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray there's nothing to be embarrassed about this is a threshing floor it's a place whereby his spirit is building us lord take away everything the weight that easily besets me take it away all that robs me from reflecting you the carnality the flesh the pride everything everything the lost take it by your fire let your fire come upon my life let your fire come upon my business let your fire come upon my ministry let your fire come upon everything everything make sure you are praying hallelujah hallelujah listen please take this prayer seriously god is changing your life i'd like you to pray and say lord i vow that in my lifting you will be glorified you see let me tell you hold on hold on hold on it's easy to say lord give me car give me tea give me bread but there are many of us you were tested with certain things and your heart went away from god and god says no it is profitable that i keep you here i like you to pray and say father for as long as i live my life my wealth my increase the ministry the anointing will bring you glory can you open your mouth and pray oh it's for your glory the millions and the billions is for your glory the influence is for your glory the open doors in ministry in life in business make sure you are praying for your glory hallelujah listen many years ago the lord spoke to me then i was nothing nobody knew joshua selman for anything and the lord told me something he said son 
if you will let men see me there is nothing i will not give you i thought it was a joke if you will let men see me there are many of us the reason why we may never rise to certain dimensions is because there is an obsession to be at the center stage i shared in abel kuta yesterday that everything that is glorious hides behind the veil are we together when rebecca was coming to meet her husband isaac as soon as she saw him she covered herself because she was a woman of glory when all of you is open to everybody you are cheap there is a part of you that must be behind the veil are we together that obsession to be known is why many of us are not known some of you may see us walk and come in ah the men of god and you just admire these things and your heart is already corrupted from the beginning there's nothing wrong with honor except that your your love for god and your desire to see his kingdom come must supersede your desire for fame listen carefully it's true there are so many people who have all it takes to rise but it's the hand of god keeping them there because their motives are so corrupt the love of god would dare not let them rise but if you can let the whole world see and know that there is nothing in this person all that i am is because of all that he is and god says you are doing this for me you have the opportunity to take everything and you say lord it's your soul and god says if that is the case then i'm ready to lift you to another dimension hallelujah pray one last prayer and then we'll worship for a few minutes i'll pray for you we'll be very brief we'll round off here now but i want you to pray this prayer and say father the challenges that stand before me that are frustrating my focus the focus that i need to give to my spiritual work could be financial could be academic could be family i bring them to the altar of worship tonight and i ask that your fire will fall on them lift your voice and pray i bring before you my pain i bring before you everything go ahead and pray i bring before you everything everything the bible says be anxious for nothing it says but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving it says make your request known don't keep it silent make your request known lord if you arise for me in this area it will give me room to serve you if you arise for my husband my wife my church my business my ministry please help that woman Crowns, lifting hands, bowing heart is what we've come to do. Casting crowns, lifting hands, bowing hearts is what we've come. To do. One more time, casting crowns. Casting around like the twenty and four elders, I bow my heart. It's what I've come to do. We will rise. We will rise. Hallelujah! In Your name, Adonai.
have won the victory. Come on, worship him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have won it all. Death could not say. Listen to what you are saying. Help that person, please. Please help them. You are the reason. Seated in my the lamb that was slain the bible says to receive for us blessing and honor and riches and power and glory you've won it all death could not hold you that means nothing can hold you down too you are the reason you're seated in majesty. majesty. You are the reason. So let hope, let it rise. Darkness trembles in your holy light. Tonight I challenge my faith to rise. Let hope rise. Darkness trembles in your holy light. Yeah, yeah. Let hope rise. Darkness trembles in your holy light. Two more times. Let hope rise. One more time. Let hope There is power in your name. Miracles happen in your name. Don't hurry the song. There is power in your name. That's the God we serve. Miracles happen in your name. One more time, there's power. There is power in your name. Yeah. Miracles happen in your name. There is power in your name.
to draw from you again again to drink from you again to hear from you again 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 to speak to you again we've come to the rock hey. Hey. to draw from you again Come to the rock, draw from you again. We've come to the rock, draw, draw from you again. Listen. I just need the guitar while you are playing I want everyone to begin to prophesy to every mountain that stands before you this is under the corporate anointing who are thou mountain before Zerubbabel I come by the unction of worship and I declare that that mountain you must be made plain come on lift your voice house of David prophesy prophesy I prophesied as I was commanded I prophesied as I was commanded and there was a sound don't be silent don't be tired you are commanding victories in the spirit we decree it in the name of Jesus here are these worship and miracles we command by the spirit mountains of finances we command by the spirit mountains of sickness for when God shows up everything that is not him must give way hallelujah listen listen let me tell you many of you are shifting things in the spirit that is God for you forever oh Lord thy word is settled it's not a special number listen to what you are saying forever oh Lord your word concerning my victory your word concerning my lifting not the recession will stop it not the hatred of man can stop it so i believe yes lord I believe yes Lord I believe that you're the Son of God I believe yes Lord I believe yes Jesus that you can change our lives that you can change and shift our destinies that you can bring new anointings in our ministries yes lord we believe yes lord i believe you're the son of god yesterday the lord did mighty things in abel kota and one of it that touched me so much not many of you were there but whilst i was ministering by the spirit the lord brought forth a few women and two of them very strangely 
one of the women had been barren for 23 years 23 years another friend that she invited from lagos here am i right pastor 27 years a combination of 50 years two women now if all you pray for them for is to have a child you still cheated them 27 years no the bible says if a thief be caught you don't return what you stole because while you stole it someone suffered something so you return plus the interest that matches the time wasted are we together we're about to pray i we will soon round up please be patient with me there are things that the devil has taken some of us years has been eaten from our lives you are not where you should be now I, i'm not trying to condemn you but it's not a lie are we together now you went to school at 25 you graduated at 33 you got a job at 41 when will you retire but there is a system in the kingdom hi that overnight the rod of a priest boarded it is not normal for trees to grow. no 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 the sequence is that it starts coming out gradually and will take two or three years but in the presence of god a rod not connected to a root all of a sudden boarded how many of you believe here that god in one month can compress something that that would have been we are going to sing this song again and while you sing it i like you to see strange liftings that you stand here to testify and your testimony is this they say talk now you say I, i'm trying to i'm trying to look what god did in my family in one month listen there are people who should not have one child alone the time they've, they've spent is too long you should have at least twins or triplets there are people who should not just have a job a job of hundred thousand after 20 years of waiting that's not a testimony that god will shift you in a way and manner there are people here you are supposed to have been in ministry since the last 10 years you should have been in dimensions but something happened and the devil stole years i like you to pray and say father every year it must be recovered i'm leaving nothing to satan it is within your power come on house of david we are rounding up lord let there be a restoration of the years the canker worm ate the years the palmer worm ate there must be a restoration of every fortune a restoration of every lifting a restoration by the spirit of the living god hallelujah hallelujah listen the lord just spoke to my spirit that we should sing a song i'm not yoruba but the song is in yoruba and i just want you to keep quiet the lord said as the, whoever is going to be singing it an anointing through this song is going to be bringing this recovery i don't know the song go i'm just someone who just had god go ahead my dear that's what the lord told me and as we begin to sing this song he's stepping into people's situation i want you as you are as you are singing this song see jesus stepping in into your family jesus the son of the living god walking into your life finally walking into your disappointments please help those under the anointing Jesus is stepping in in this auditorium.
Lord Jesus, now I'm going to begin to pray. We're rounding up. Jesus, please help those under the anointing now. You don't have to bring them out. It's, our time is already gone. Jesus, Jesus is walking into this auditorium right now. Walking into this auditorium. Jesus is walking into this auditorium. The Lord is replacing all kinds of things, body parts, the healing power of Jesus, touching people. There are restorations coming now. Restorations, please help them. Just help them. We can't bring them out because of time. But the anointing of the Spirit is touching you right where you are. Right where you are. It's over. It's over. The Spirit of God is saying it's over. You will not cry forever. It's over. 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 I command every spirit of infirmity to go now. Please help this lady, my God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command every devil of infirmity to leave God's people now. Hallelujah. Hold on. I'm praying. The Lord is healing people right now. Mama, I'm seeing...